Today is my wedding day. Today is my wedding day. <laughs> Hi guys, this is PM inside a gown. Mulifikiri si tava gown tena. Ndiyo mimi huyu. Nimerudi. Nimeva gown. Nasikia vizuri. Anyway guys, I feel amazing in this gown. It's an amazing one. Najua watu wanajiuliza, alifanya harusi lini? Ni harusi ngine alifanya? Kwani nikifanya nyingine shida iko? Na shida iko? Na si ni yangu. Na si mimi nafanya. Anyway guys, I'm super excited you can find this gown with uh B designers. Uh, their numbers are there. We are going to give them out. They are, it is custom made from scratch anayunda anaitengeneza you are did you are sorted you are sorted you are sorted they are making all type of gowns anyway today i want to talk about marriage because i'm wearing this one and we know this is one uh, gown or one type of cloth that usher you in into marriage you will wear it on our wedding days we want to talk about modern marriage versus the past marriage why is it modern marriage uh, why is it that it's not working like the past marriages of our fathers of our grandfathers our mothers like today it's more of contract more than a covenant that is what we're gonna see today are you even ready for me i got an amazing talk chat and chill with pm Wacha tuongee maneno. Maana hayo maneno ya upendo kuna vile inachenga watu. Hii maneno ya upendo kuna vile inatuslap pa pa pa. So, find a comfort seat, take a cup of tea, coffee or a glass of juice and let's do this. Pia wewe umekaribishwa kuleta maoni. Leta maoni. Kwa nini ndoa za saa hii zinakataa kufanya kazi? Maybe point yako hapo itasaidia mtu. Ileta hapo iangushe hapo kwa comments. Now, guys, let's do this. Remember share this video. Pia mameolewa majaolewa tutajibu ndani ya video. Mm. Alifanya harusi ama si tutajibu ndani ya video. Wacha haraka nani? Wacha haraka. Tulia utsikie story. See you guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, let's do this and um wherever you're watching me, thank you so much for the support so far. You have shown me thank you for subscribing, thank you for your love, your comment, your sharing. For real, you have been doing an amazing job. Thank you. If you're new here, welcome and kindly remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. So, we are talking about past marriages versus the modern marriage. What is that that is making it not work? Some of these I will share. It's out of experience, by the way. And some of them, it's out of, uh, you know, listening to people and also seeing with my eyes. Kuna zile vitu tunaona tu kwa macho. Now, the traditional values, we can say, they are gone. The traditional values are gone. You know, when I was growing up, hizo masiku za kina mamu wakiolewa, kina, hizo ndoa za ma 30 days ago, 30 years ago, eh, ma, ma, ma 40 years ago, ma 20, let's say 25 years ago and above. Eh? They were, you know, the values. The women knew their place. The men knew their place. And uh, they, they, they knew, you know, a man is the head. It was obvious whether a man is working, whether a man is not working. Actually, those men of those days, I didn't see them working. I didn't see them working. Wanawake wanaenda shamba, wanatafuta chakula, wanakuja, wanalima, wanabebea ngombe, majani, you know, like, and they come, they cook for their husbands, they feed them. Hey, try to do that today. Like, women were submissive. Uh, some of the people will, will, will maybe argue with me and say, that one, ilikuwa kuteswa and all that, because I've heard that. People say that, but what I want to say, women knew their place and men knew their place. The wealth of a man was the children, the flocks, the cattle he had, goats, is of it too, the, the, the land, shamba in Yakonayo, you know, anataftia muke shamba, anataftia ngombe na kondo na mbuzi, yeye kazi yake inaishi hapo, mwanamke ajue venye hizo zitakula, venye zitafanyua and all that. So, when I say traditional values are no longer there, I mean this. Men knew their place, women 
knew their place. And women knew how to respect. I'm not saying that our, our, our women or us, we don't know how to. Not all of us. Some of us we know. And some of us we are trying. But if you look at the rate of respect, hey, nowadays, hizo vitu wakunaga. Hizo vitu, kuna vile tu zimekunywa maji. Okay. So, I can say that traditional values are gone. Uh, I can say that responsibilities, you know, nowadays responsibilities, people are not able to differentiate who is who. Responsibilities of a man, responsibilities of a woman. And that is why you find women saying what a man can do, a woman can do even better. One day I told people, you, you are saying you can do better times two of a man. One day I said, try to urinate. When a matatu is moving as a woman, you want to urinate. That is when you will know what a man can do, you cannot do. There are things you cannot do. Men are men. Women are women. And I tell you, woman, don't be lied by technology and modernization. Men were created first. They were created with the image of God. We were removed in their rib. So they are the ones that are original gods. I'm not hyping men. I'm not here to, uh, you know, show men are good or women are bad or something. We are talking. And also you can share your views. Why is it modern marriage is not really working? A lot of rate of divorces is high. Separation is very high. Why? So me, I can say responsibilities have gone that a woman can... Uh, leave responsibilities of a man, of a, can, can give re, her responsibilities to a man. And a man as well can give responsibilities to a woman which belongs to him. People are confused. That we are living in a society of confused fellas, confused people, both men, both women. So people are not knowing. There's a man you are the head, director, show the way, pioneer, you lead, but you find the men have left that responsibility to women. When women lead and show the way and direct, they develop horns and they start feeling superior and they start feeling masculine instead of feminine. They start feeling as a man and they start controlling. Before you knew it, hey, whatever is happening in that house, Whatever is happening in that marriage, it's only God. It's only God can rescue that marriage. So, uh, if we can learn and know our responsibilities, every person, what are your responsibilities? I'm not talking about finances. I'm not talking about money, who is buying food, who is doing what. I'm not talking about that. that you, you, I'm talking about leadership. Who should lead and who should follow? You, principles, orders of the marriage. Eh? Those are the things that now they come and touch the things of uh, who is paying rent, who is doing this, who is doing this. Before we reach there, Kuna kashida mahali. Because one thing I've come to realize, those days, if a man, for example, has fallen or the job has fallen or business or something is not working, a, a woman will tell the man, don't worry, kuna is a group wanawake wanaenda gazi, naitango wa merigoraud or whatever. Kuna chama ninakula, kesho, kesho hivi, itakupatia. You know, like, hivo, na hiyo inaisha. Na utasikia kimuambia, unajua nile kuzaidia wewe, unajua nile lipa school fees, unajua nile. Utasikia hiyo, imeisha hivyo, na wako sawa, wako tu sawa. Hey, jaribu na mwanamke wa sasa. Ata kwe sabia. A kwe sabia. A kwe sabia. A kwe sabia. Yani, I think people have really prioritized the things that do not matter so much, forgetting the things that matter. If you see those problems of bills and all that, there is a problem, a source somewhere. It is coming from somewhere. Th those are fruits we are seeing. This uh, ni matunda tunaona ya ile kitu imefanyika kule. Ile kitu iko kule deep. If that is sorted out, then these other fruits we are seeing 
of who is who, who, is, who will do this, who will do this. Imagine, it will balance. It will automatically balance. Okay, let's move on. There is a seed of selfishness. People are selfish. People uh, don't care about each other or their parties or their spouses or their boyfriends or their girlfriends or their wife or husband. People are like, what am I gaining as I did this guy? What will I gain as I date this woman? What will I gain as I marry him? People are in game of what am I getting nowadays, not like then. Actually, like before, those days, ooh, you'll find a girl who will love a man who don't have anything. They stay together, they work, they live life, they drive and go. Nowadays, people are saying, Akuja meoga. Especially the young girls, eh? 20s, eh? 20s. Akuja kwa meo? So, there is an aspect of selfishness. People are looking for what to gain. More of what to give. Let me tell you, in the few years that I've stayed under the sun, I'm 40 now, I can tell you, I can attest. Maybe through knowledge that God has given me, but more of even uh, experience. I can tell you for, for, for free. If you are getting into a marriage for what you will gain, it is doomed to fail. Get into a marriage with an aspect and with an open mind. What am I going to add? As a man, as a woman, what will I bring on the table? Nowadays, women are saying, I am the table. And I'm telling you, it's okay, you can be the table. You are beautiful, you are created, you are awesome, you are smart. But why don't you put a table mat on that table? Yeah. Let the man put ugali, you put table on a mat. <laughs> on that table, bring something there. Hey, let, at a, you, you can take a table mat, why your table? Meaning, don't be just there, staying and saying, uh, you know, I, I, I am waiting for him, he's... He, I am the woman. In other words, I'm saying, let us not be selfish. That is what is happening nowadays. People are entering in marriage of what will I benefit? What is this man giving me? What will this woman give me? What will he benefit me? So that is the thing that we have elevated. What am I gaining more than what am I going to give? What if you say, what am I going to bring on the table to this woman? And as a woman, you say, what am I going to bring on the table to this man? Not what will I get, but what am I going to bring? Both of you, you come together with reasoning of bringing. And when you do that, automatically you will see you have a lot to bring on the table. And that spirit of selfishness will not be there. And those days, I think that spirit was not there. Self, self, being selfish. I think our parents, our grandparents, they were selfless. They were not marrying for gain and all that. They were marrying for companionship. They get children, they bring up children and all that. Yani maneno na kupendana na mapenzi. Siku hizi mpaka watu wanasema mapenzi ni scam. I I know that we are saying past are the days that we are getting married for love, affection, and all that. We are looking forward to uh, values and standards that people are bringing. Not, and I agree with that. Not what, not, I, I, I agree that you get married to a person also who will add value. And also you, as you are looking forward for a person who will add value, also you add value to them. Don't look for one side. Both sides should balance. So me, I feel, because of that spirit of selfishness, past marriages were doing better than ours. Oof. Technology. Them days, there was no technology. I remember that um, our mom's days, eh, they used to depend on the letters. That one will send. Na kitambo ifiki ata wakati mwingine inamaliza mwezi. Ata uliku unatumua leta guka alikufa. Juni inafika kama asha zikwa. Na watu wametulia mioyo. 
those are days. You know, people are not having technology. But technology is not bad. And we appreciate God for technology and for modernization and digital world. It's very awesome. It's making things easy. And life is becoming easy every day. But I feel it has really participated in a wrong way when it comes to marriages. Why? People are not having intimacy, intimate time. People are okay texting one another. Texting, even in the same house. You want to call your husband from upstairs. You text. They come down, dinner is ready. Because it's a matter of texting. You find people the whole day, they have been texting, texting when they come home. Uyu akokona yake na simu, uyu akokona yake na TV, uyu akokona yake na laptop. The other day I went for dinner somewhere. They were full of couples. And I could see couples who went out to have a meal. But you find uh, they, they are two, they are not talking to each other. Everyone is on their phone. Eating like this, they are on their phone eating. Then they'll talk a little bit and then they continue watching, scrolling the phone, entire time, scrolling the phone. So I ask, technology, what will we do with technology? Do we put it aside, kabut, teme, a kabut, or what should be done? It's you to control yourself. So people, it's up to you to control technology because you find being in, in the house, being or somewhere together, but too much on the gadgets, too much, even children. You find a family, mutoto ni watoto watatu, kila mtu wakona simu yake ama wakona kitu inaitua hizi tunaitanga uh, iPads, wakonazo kila mtu yake, dadi na ya kona Samsung ile inafungukaga hivi, mam na ya kona iPhone. So, you, everybody is on their gadget. Paka unaongelesha mtoto hakusiki, unamuita hakusiki. So, technology have really participated big, big time. But we cannot, you know, we cannot condemn it and we cannot blame it. Because it, it, it should be there. Technology is there and should be there to help us and to help life to become easy. It's up to you as a human being to be able to give your, 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 your person the time. Hii maneno ya kuongea, munaongea na na simu, munaongea na nini. Zamani ya kukukua hivyo. You know, those days they used to talk face to face. You see that face to face talk. Hiyo time yenu wa, time yenu. Hakuna mtu anawa, anawa interact. Hakuna, hakuna kuongea. Unajua sayu unaongea tana simu na uko Facebook. Unaongea na simu na uko kwa internet ingine. So you are even being distracted. But those days they used to communicate face to face. Hakukua TV. <laughs> Hakukua easy mambo mob. So unapata watu wameketi hapo wakiota moto wakikunywa kachai kao wakipiga masto. My story. So technology has really participated, but we cannot blame it on technology. I blame it with people because it's up to you to know and to create that time. To know that this is time for my family, this is time for my job, this is time for this. And you you agree. Like in Sasa Squeezy, eh? Where? Social media can ashika. Unapata mtu ako tu throughout two good hours. Hameingia kwa nyumba, ndiyo hamekuja mapema ni mze. Hamekuja mapema, hameingia kwa nyumba, hiyo five, hiyo six. Lakini, between six na ten wakati atalala, atakuwa meongea maneno mawili. Tunania kusema ni meshiba ama nilete maji. Iyo masa ingine yote, ako kwa gadget zake, ama ako kwa games zake, ama ako kwa watch news, ama ako kwa watch gadget. Yani throughout. Na ye mama akipika jikoni, ameka afro cinema hapo, ama soap opera, ako hapo ana watch. Na watoto wakua uko dining, wengine wako bedroom, kila mtu wako na yake. So mume kuja kwa nyumba ndiyo, mume toka shule watoto na nyi kazi mume kutana, lakini hamuta kuwa na our time as a family. Watu wanaenda kulala, asubu ni kuamuka, shuguli shuguli, munaenda. Wiki inaisha amjai keti ata dakika kuminatano as a family to talk issues and all that. And you find our children, because of technology, 
wanafika mahali si wanajua technology ndio mzuri wanajifunza vitu unapata mtoto wa shaba earring na ni kijana hata huja notice na we ni mama yake msichana ndio huyu ameanza vitu zingine unapata wamefungua tiktok wanaenda uchi huko kwa sababu wamezoea kuona watu wakienda uchi before you knew it uko na watoto wanakaa mapepo ndani ya nyumba alafu unaanza kuchapa watoto ukiblame watoto ukuwapelekea sijui eh, eh, psychiatrist sijui unawapeleka kwa, kwa, kwa hospitali ya akiri kuangaliwa akiri kama iko sawa na wewe ndio wakati ulikuwa unahitaji kuwaonyesha njia hao kukua ndio nakuuliza why why you bought me a phone what is wrong with watching so technology have really participated in uh, our modern days eh? and you find the intimate the talk that is there is no longer there people are too much even talking on social media more than talking on physical or facial to face to face talk eh uh, i can say another thing is that nowadays people got a lot of many choices more than them days eh because those days actually uh, people stick together a man and a, a man and a woman wife and husband you know due to social pressure security they stick together because of kids fear of being you know judged by the social media by the social life and society and people that fear you know that fear and they stick together because oh jua watoto acha tukae tule watoto they stick together because they they, they stuck because of uh, the you know the social pressure like hey squeeze or mtu akiachana ilikuwa big deal oh my god wameachana na bwanake ilikuwa big deal hata hata hakukukuanga labda mtu akufe but nowadays people are having a lot of choices eh, a lot a lot you will even find people are coming to see you mwanamke anakuja kukuona na kuambia prof mimi nimekuja hata unajua mimi sasa kwangu ndoa yangu imekataa ku work ukimuuliza maswali anakuambia hata mimi nisha haya nyumba already nimeweka furniture i'm almost living ni nguo zangu tu ziko huko ndio nachukua yani huyu mwanamke ako ready amenunua mpaka vitu na amekondisha nyumba na ameilipa i'm talking about things real things ile kazi ya kutafutilia ile vitu tunaletewa as as pastors eh zile vitu tunaletewa by married people unapata mtu ame, amekuja na kuambia he mimi as we talk right now nishahama na hata nimemwacha eh na nimekuja kwa sababu mimi kuna kitu inifurahisha anashinda akinitukana nini wewe mpaka unamuuliza umekuja kufanya nini then hii ndo haiko so a lot of choices people are having choices nowadays and people are like uh, divorce is nothing it's so casual it, it is the order of the day separations is the order of the day people are not even fearing mm. that is where we are like so nimetoka so watafanya watadu but then they were having that fear i can say in at a point that fear was not Uh, really good to some people because there are people who died maybe out of violence and all that and all that i can say in one way it was not okay but in one way it was good because people are like I, where will i go if i leave my husband with my two children where will i go but nowadays i think a woman especially who is working independent woman she's having her own money she's like <laughs> my brother to me i will not even half time to waste with you i can take care of my kids i can take care of myself i can do this and you find because of that we are having choi- a lot of uh, choices we can survive this way we can survive that way marriages are not what but them days i think choices were not a lot the pressure of society was you know like cooling people down they don't want to be seen as a bad example but nowadays eh hey, you'll find people saying i don't want to be your role model eh hey, don't look at me oh my marriage is not your marriage <laughs> so modernization have really messed marriages but we cannot blame on it i'm blaming me on people another thing is that um, i think uh, women 
I think women are really empowered. And it's a good thing because I'm one of them. I'm a woman and I thank God because of this empowerment. But when we empower women so much, we are not telling them we are African women. Yes, you are empowered, but you are African. You are not Western. And now about hey, gender equality, I don't know um, what a man can do, a woman can do, what a woman can do, a man can do. Those things. You find a woman is so modernized, is so educated, of which it's a good thing. Me too, I'm educated and I love it. Empowered so much, of which it's a good thing. But in the midst of empowering our girls, let us tell them and assure them they are African women, they are wives, and they're supposed to do, you know, the, the role of a woman, the role of a wife. So you find uh, women are empowered, men, yes, are empowered, but not really like women. And you will find that uh, women at some point, wana mea pembe. Wakisha mea pembe. Anaona hakuna kitu waezi ya kafanya. Anafika tuwa level. Anajifanyia vitu unapata amefanya everything as a man. Na anataka kukuintimidate tu. Ata uja kata kutuwa. Anataka kukuintimidate as a man. Hakuna you know what brother? Hakuna kitu unanzaidia na ayo. Kila kitu tu umeniongezea. Ni kwamba umenipea watoto. But the rest of the thing. Hakuna kitu unanzaidia na ayo. So that attitude. Women. We are empowered I know. We are learned, I know. We are good, I know. We have all these things, I know. But, 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 let us know we are still women. You are not being empowered for you to humiliate and to intimidate a man. You are being empowered for you to know yourself, number one. Number two, for you to be able to empower the people that God brings in your life. That is your husband and your kids. This empowerment, don't use it as a weapon to bring someone down. <laughs> am, I, am I making sense? So, uh, I can say also, these, uh, these, these days, women are too much big, too much masculine. They feel mas masculine compared to the days of our mothers and our shoshos, our grandmothers. Woo, all right. Modern parenting. It's another issue that is affecting marriages. Let me give an example. Here we are as a parent. I'm a, I'm, I'm a parent. My son is turning 18. Actually, in a few days, eh? he's turning 18. And uh, the way I, I have brought out, uh, we are bringing up these kids, the millennial. When I talk about millennial, eh? Our millennium kids, eh? you find we pamper them, we give them everything they need. Me na kumbukaga, squeeze ata ungeitisha kitu. Kiatu yako imeisha ya shule. Unakuja unambia, mam, kiatu yangu umeraruka. Jicho tu. Yenye rakwangale na utajua, sinunuliwi sahi. Jicho. But nowadays, our kids are asking for anything we give them. Mtoto akiwa grade 2 akona simu. Yake. Yake. Mtoto wa grade 2 akona TikTok. Akona simu yake. Mtoto akitaka kuchange shule. Dio huyo wewe. Umambadilisha, oh my god. Eh, hey, waka kuchapa. Hey, not my son. Not my daughter. Dio huyo wewe umechange ye shule. Sisi ungefukuzua shule. Umefukuziwa school fees. Sio makosa yako. Ni school fees umefukuziwa. Uliku unaulizwa huna akili. Hunge kako hiyo shule. Hunge juwe penye utarudu kwa klas. Unachapwa na makosa ni ya mzazi. Kutoklipia school fees. Sasa, chapo kwa sababu ya makosa ingine. My friend, utawawa na kijiji. But nowadays, mutoto amesema ataki hiyo shule, ata utaku kujua kwa nini hataki. As long as kababaka amesema. Kama mika amesema. Nampaka muna leta na juu kwa hiyo nyumbo kita kabadilisho shule za father or za mother. Especially mothers, eh? Okay, mtoto anasema, mama, you know, uh, there, there, there is this uh, new shoe that I saw my friend with. 
ushanunua. Mom, you know me, I want to eat this, I cannot eat this, ushanunua. Like, we are making their lives, whatever they ask, whatever they need. And because of that, they have become lazy. I'm coming to a level now of A, B, and B. They have become lazy. So ladies, to, to mami tuetu, hatujui kazi, hatujui kunimwa, hatujui kuhaso, hatujui kukosa. So that kamami, because she wants to look elegant, she wants a human hair like this one, she wants uh, an iPhone, she wants a beautiful shoe, designer, handbag, and all that. Any man that can offer that, she's ready to go. She is ready to go. Why? Our parenting, modern parenting. Look at our boys. 20 year old, 25 year old, and Arwaka. Wameja kwa apartment hapo. Beautiful apartments. Wame kodishiwa. Unapote kama yeko one bedroom, 35,000. Two bedroom, 45,000 or 50,000. Kazi yake ni yangare, aoge, apige tizi, apige luku, akule, apige presums, amekwa na kamama, ka 60 years, ka 70 years. Anapeleka service. Anaenda mama anapewa service, anarudi. Brayo, amenulua gari. Brayo, analipua nyumba. Anapewa pocket money, upkeep money. Kwa nini huyo mtoto wa 20 years, 25 years, amefika to that extent, aliitisha kila kitu na alipewa. Hajui kuhasu, hajui kuchoka, modern parenting. Tume pampa watoto wetu. Tume waonyesha like, tume, tumueka kama tumiungu. And now, the generation that is there right now, I'm telling you, for free, 30 and below, 70%, they are not working. They, they, they don't, at, at a siku kosa kazi, wengine ata wamesoma, hawataki. Maana venye wamelelewa, hawataki. As long as Brayo amepata shosho fulani, alikufisha mume wake. Na wengine pia wako na waume zao. Lakini waume ni kana kwamba kazi na walemea kidogo. Ameye kwa ruwaka, kwa apartment, hako tu sawa. Anapua allowance ya 100,000 per month. Na sayo nyumba imelipua. Na hako na kasubaro, na kanajazo wa mafuta. Uyo mwanaume ata umfanya nini, haezi ya kafanya kazi. Kastana kako hapo kanaenda kamechukulua na muna Nigeria ako milionea na ni drug dealer. Kananulua human hair ya 100,000. Kananulua designer bag ya Chanel ya 15,000 na kiatu yake. Kanabaiwa I don't know what. Na kanapeleku wa casino ama kule wanaenda. Kanakula vizuri, kanapeleku wa Dubai, kanapeleku wa naivasha, vasha. Uyo msichana hata fanya kazi. Hata umfanya nini? Hata fanya kazi. So, modern parenting, I can say it has really participated in millennial generation to be the way they are. Sisi, ungechelewa kukuja nyumbani, uchelewe, ukosanishe mahesabu, uchelewe dakika tano, ya saa zile unafaa kuingia, my friend, ungesema kwenye unatoka. Na ungesema kama huna nguwa ata moja. Ukichapu na the five. Sijuka mnajua the five. Ukichapu mpaka na watu wa kijiji wanakuja kuongezea kichapu. Lakini sikuizi mtoto saane ndia naingia. Nakumbia you know mom traffic. You know I went to my, I went out with my friends. I went out with my friends. At age 19, 20. Then unakuja kwangu saane za usiku na nimi nalipa rent. Kwangu. Unakula chakula yangu. Kwangu. Gu umevani zangu. Wewe, na simu, simu enye uu, uko nao ni mini mekubaia. Yani like, ukiangalia ulezi wa sahi na wa siku hizo, they are two different things. So, we are not seeing the future of our children. We are not seeing this is a husband to someone. This will become a wife to someone. When you start seeing in that perspective, you are going to rectify your children as early as now. Sisemi tuwa nyime, sisemi tuwa tese, lakini tu tuwale tuwale kuwa tu mzazi wacha kuwa big sister kwa your son or your daughter wacha kuwa big brother be a parent 
be that parent like mtoto ukimwangalia na jicho anajua kenye unasema sisi wageni walikuwa nakuja kutembea na watu kuna venye umeangaliwa na madhi unaambiwa toka dio kakome enda utoka kwa wageni na hata kuambia na mdomo but nowadays kababa ndio hako kanatoshana na jabali dio ya viti oi yule anakuanga hivyo you know he's a sanguine ha huh? anakuanga tu hivyo huyu ni mjovi anakuanga na energy ambia dadi 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 anazimia mpaka wageni tv hey anachukua mpaka maji ya wageni akikunywa akililia hiyo kikombe yangu hiyo ni kikombe yangu hiyo ni sahani yangu usimpe na hiyo na ukiwa hapo unamwambia oye oye acha nani nako kana kuanga tu hivyo maji kana kuanga tu hivyo na wageni wanaenda hakuna kitu watotofanyia mtoto na hiyo siku inaisha hivyo that is what we are doing eh hebu atawe comment hapo niambie hizi vitu zinafanya hizi marriage zetu zikatai kwa ni nini hizo vitu ni nini so now you find a, 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 a guy wants to get married for example huyu mtu ni kababa anataka kuoa akipata akitaka kuoa uh, unapata uh, anaenda kuoa mtu ambaye anaona a mother figure in kwa sababu yeye hajui kutafuta hajui ni so anatafuta mama alafu mnaanza kuwapiga huku ukisema yeye afai kuoa huyo ni mama sana huyo ni mzee sana but in real sense yeye yako sawa anatafuta huyo mam mwenye amemlea ndio anatafuta in that woman so you find if they get married kama mimi na kababa it will not work because kababa kana angalia kama mimi na kama mimi kana angalia kababa hawajui responsibilities hawajui who is who hawajui where is where unless wale tu Mungu amefungua macho but that is happening that is happening okay another thing i've i've been thinking about is unrealistic expectations you want to get married to a man with a range rover with a car uh, with a house at uh, naka kutu mahali kuzuri estate ya kifahari ako na job ama ako na company ama ako na business na uko 22 wewe unatafuta sponsor wewe unatafuta buda unatafuta babako utafuti bwana you are 22 unataka mtu ako na range rover wasipata mtu wa 25 na range rover unless ni ya babake uko 22 na unataka mtu amejenga mansion Wazi pata mtu wako 25 amejenga mansion huyo uh, ndio amemaliza university unless ni kwa babake anakaa so wewe tuambie unatafuta sponsor wacha kutudanganya tunatafuta mume so the unrealistic expectations are breaking marriage of today hey kama vile nilisema siku hizo a lady will come together with a man and they start they go to farm together they do this together they they grow together 10 years later they are building 20 years later they are very far they are driving they are good but nowadays unataka baba mwanaume anataka mwanaume aliye na job mwanaume aliye na hii mwanaume aliye na hii mwanaume aliye na hii mwanaume aliye na utatolewa wapi utatolewa wapi sasa ndio maana unapata tusichana kana toroka kanaenda kuolewa na baba wa miaka 50 hata si 50 60 na 70 kwa sababu kenyewe kanataka Range Rover na huyo baba ndiye ako nayo kenyewe kanataka mansion na huyo baba ndiye ako nayo kenyewe kanataka pesa na huyo baba ndiye ako nazo si, i'm not actually attacking anyone mwenye ameolewa ama ameoa na age difference refu i'm not there I'm not attacking but I'm saying kuna wale si si kwamba wa, wa, wa circumstance si kwamba ni love imefanya waone ni circumstance imefanya aolewe na huyo buka maana anataka do anataka kuendesha gari kubwa hmm? ukimwambia olewa na kijana wa miaka 28 anasema hey atanipea nini mimi nitembeage mguu mimi nilisikia wimbo mwingine kwa TikTok ya kwamba usitume fear mimi nimezoea kukanyaga mafuta something like that kawimbo kanaenda hivi like uh, 
mimi ni pesa inani inaniongeleshaga ina kama una do usikuje kama una do usiniongeleshe mimi ni do zinaniongeleshaga mimi usiniambie na kutumia fair ni nakanyagaga mafuta like huyu day manaambia huyu chali mimi sifanyi hii maneno maneno ya chini so huyo mtu mwenye unataka gari huyo mtu mwenye unataka kwenda kwa mansion huyo ako age gani si age mtu wako hayuko 22 kama wewe hayuko 25 kama wewe huyo ni mzai aki huyo ni buda huyo ni sponyo i'm telling you for free huyo ni sponsor okay ah uh, unrealistic uh, expectations even on the side of men men are expecting a woman that is a perfect 100% and all that mtu mwenye ni hakoseagi mtu mwenye ni malaika mtu mwenye like i don't know we are having a lot of expectations can i tell you are you dating are you looking forward to get married do you have expectations write them down all of them all of them don't leave even one write them down all of them after you finish writing them down take that paper tear it into pieces take a matchbox burn it why because those expectations will not be satisfied they will not maybe one or two or maybe nothing they will be not be satisfied and you want to enter in a marriage perfect my friend it is you to make it work and the other person make it work but not you entering in ex- with expectations mm. eh na ingia kwa marriage ukifikiri hangorotagi you ni mhandi eh acha usiku ifike krokro unaenda kwa pasta mimi siko najua nangorotaga hivyo mimi hata sina laki ulo vitu zingine za ujinga hmm? unaangalia dem unafikiri ati anakaanga hivyo akua kama hivi niko na makeup na wig after hii nitawatoa hii nini yote unaona hapo kwa uso na nitoe wig ni back na lines tu wangu sasa umezoea kumuona mkienda date na tumakucha na nini na nini unaingia kwa nyumba anatoa wig anakaa scarecrow akitoa makeup anakaa hey, hii miaka ni kama imesonga songa nilikuwa naona kama ako yang eh unrealistic you know expectations and that is when now maturity come you sit down talk and uh, your expectations i've told you your expectations will not be met ask those that are married for 30 years 50 years 40 years 30 years 20 years they also had ask them how it went you keep them down and now you bring you as you bring something in this marriage bring your values add values to it add something into it so when you do that the other party re- reciprocate and do the same and marriage works so nowadays where but them days our parents had nothing to expect actually they had nothing they just wanted to get married have children grow together companionship love that's all nowadays eh, if someone will not buy me chocolate and flowers on my birthday take me to dubai wacha ikae my friend hata wajipeleke uko 25 unataka upelekwe na, na mtu wako na ako 29 anatoa wapi mapesa hizo zote za kupeleka dubai hata wajipeleke basi jipeleke huo ni ajimetu wako hata wajipeleke you know let call us pay us pay kaeni chini muangalie maisha yenu ikoje hamwezi kwenda dubai hamwezi and life iendele life is on mbele okay these are my expectations mmenskia muchome muchome nimesema muchome hakuna kitu kayo unatama nyingi utaiona ah tuulize sisi tulikuwepo tulikuwa hata sisi tunaandika list me i want this i want this unaingia unapata hata haiko karibu hata moja haikaribi Hakuna inakaribia. Paka unajiuliza kali huyu, kali kudoki. Kwani where am I? Who is this? But the real of the matter is enter into that marriage ready to give, ready to build. 
ready to participate, ready to become, but not the other way around. If a person is focused and you have realized this man or this woman is focused, this man, you know, the future is guaranteed. You can see the future, the values. What are the spiritual values of this guy? Mental values, society values, all those things. And then I'm telling you, the things that are in our heads, especially ladies, when you have a lot of people, you can have 40 or 50 people, you can say, I'm going to say, I'm going to list. Na kuna hata moja. Hata moja hakuna. Okay. Nowadays, we are too much into wedding more than marriage. My wedding, I want it to be on Citizen TV. I want my wedding to be on wedding show, on a magazine. I want it to trend, photos to trend. I want to do it in a beautiful garden. I want to do my wedding uh, at the at the at the at the nini beach at the beach side. I want to do at the resort wedding. Nowadays, it's more highlighted, more yani akilizetu zimeja iyo of which it's okay. Kama mukona azo mukona doza kufanya hizo vuti zote. Well and good, it's good. It's only one day, and it's your day. After all, feel good. But are you capable of doing that? What to back on end up alone? Munabaki mukili alone. Jesus kumoja, wedding yes kumoja, shaitani yashindi. So marriage is not. Yani watu wame pigirili a wedding day, wedding day, wedding day, wedding day. Wana sawa ni kumoja. Awajafikiri, awajafikiri akuzo marriage. You find even they are not planning about the marriage to come. After wedding, it's marriage. The marriage began. So how are we going to do? How many children do we want? How are we going to handle our money? How, do we, how are we going to handle our finances? How are we going to handle our marriage, our parents? All those things, eh? All those things. Now, people are too much on the wedding day. Wedding day, eh? Kuna mutu. Yani anasemanga kama sita baiwa gaon ya 150,000 na nyuele ya 200,000 na sijui unajipangia half a million wea mtu mmoja peke yako imo. E, I need those photographers when you analipisanga 250 kama siyo ikae. Mia need ile keki niliona ile ya 70k. Kama siyo ikae. My friend, unatumia 1 million. Mukisha maliza hapo. Unaanza kupiga kupiga mtoto wa wenyewe eh, kelele mkiingia kwa ndoa unamwambia you are an irresponsible man you cannot provide da, 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 da. ulimaliza tu savings tu wake tu wote na gown kama mtu anaweza ni sawa celebrate enjoy yeah have fun let that day be but if you are not capable Paka mtu wazama mimi, nataka chopa, limozin, mimi sishuki sijuu kwa prado. Naji mtoto watu, anakupenda, anaenda tuwa next for mile, anachukua kalon. My friend, watu wasahi, modern people, modern girls, modern men, we are too much into the wedding day. We are not concentrating on the marriage. We are not planning the future. But them days, I think, by the way, Nikisikiza story za kina shosho na kina mathe, mtu walikuwa na ule wangu watu hivi. Mimi kuna story nikuwa na pigiwa ati mtu wameenda kusiaga mahindi. Hamebewa mahindi hakaenda kusiaga. Haki ya naenda haki endaga. Na mahindi, na kusiaga. Paka naenda na unga. Na ndiyo hivu wanaolewa. Unapota wazewa wamekuja kwa hao. Kukujia mangu. Mtu watu wajewa litumwa kisiagi. Akasiaga unga. Kitu ingine munaona after two days, ninguwa zinakujua na waze. Na nivyo, sise mwatu wasifanya arusi, apana. Hata mina penda arusi by the way, si hata munaona niko na gaun. Si munaona hata mini mefanya. Si munaona nimevaa gaun, na nilivaa ingine hapo yivoo ma 2018. Na penda hata mi arusi. Lakini, modern people, we are too much into weddings more than marriage. More than marriage. More than marriage. Eh, Mika asipileku isi shell for my honeymoon. Ayu, ikae. 
Aki. Oye. Can we be more in marriage? Can you ask yourself about marriage? And you know marriage is forever and ever. Can we ask ourselves, am I doing after wedding? Okay, after wedding, it's okay. Then what? What next? So nowadays, iko hivyo. So kama wa ujaolewa, na kama wa ujaoa, mukipata na mpua wako, ama leo mkienda date, ketini chini muongelele marriage. Achani na hii ujinga ya wedding. Ni nzuri sana na tunapenda hata kushikanisha hizo mawedi. Hata si tunapenda kufanya hizo mawedi. Ni nzuri sana lakini wacha niwaambie kitu moja. Don't spend a million on a wedding and then you end up lacking food in your house simply because you wanted the you know to keep the name to trend. Kwa sababu social media imeharibu watu. Hii social media imeharibu watu. Unapata watu wamefanya harusi unasikia ime cost 1.5 million 3 million 5 million na wewe unaanza kusumbua mtu wako Una, uliona 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 kwenye alipelekwa eh uliona uliona wa Jesus kwenye alishika mimba kwenye alipelekwa eh alipelekwa sijui wapi inaitangwa baby vacation ama whatever bump whatever unapea bwana ko pressure na mume wana tu mwanza go unapea pressure ya bure na hana na wengine ni content wana create Wae. Wakina ni content wana create. Iyo kuwachi hivyo shilingi imeingia. Wewe hakuna content. Una, si ukue content creator basi. Hakuna content unajua ta kukreate. Lakini unapea mwingine pressure. Hebu wachane na content creators. Wachane na celebrities teams. Eh? Please. Wengine mkitu una huko hivyo tunakuanga sponsored. Uyo mtu wamelipua ndege. Uyo mtu wamelipua hateli. Hata nguwa hamevalishwa. Nyuele hamevalishwa. Kila kitu hamevalishwa. Na huu unapea pressure buwanako. Na huyo mtu hakuna shilingi yake ame spend. Lakini unapea bonako pressure. Wengine wanachukua magari za kuhaya. Zinaekwa majina. Huyo unapea bonako pressure. Heo nao kwenye the young couple, they are driving a Range Rover. We hata ufikiri yangu ataka vitu kunibaia. Na gari sio yao ni advertisement wana advertise. Kampuni ya magari. Wah, social media ni mbaya. Usidanganywe na social media. <laughs> ni mbaya. Okay. Nowadays, eh, it is more of a contract more than a covenant. In those days, I feel as if they were, it was more of covenant between two people. But nowadays, it is a contract. I even a person will tell you, eh, you know what? I think I'm tired of this wedding, uh, of this marriage. I need a break. I need a break. Ukifikia hivyo unajua automatically there is no covenant. What is this covenant? For better for us, we are sticking together. When you are boring me, we are sticking together. We look for solution together. We are not leaving this marriage. Eh uh -huh, we are not. That is what we call covenant. But nini covenant, but a contract. Eh? I need a break. I need to go back home. I need to uh, my space. It's more of that nowadays. You agree with me? It's more of that. People are too much into co uh, into contracts more than covenants. Infidelity, cheating is on high level. High level. Fear of God is nowhere to be found. Fear of God is nowhere to be found. A woman is married. And she will go out there and sleep with guys, sleep with men, sleep with sponsors, sleep with bosses. And she's married. And she's not even feeling guilty. Come take a shower and tell the husband, I'm feeling a bit tired. Don't touch me today. And she's coming from a hotel. Infidelity is there, is the order of the day. Cheating, it's on a high level. People are not having fear of God. Leave alone fear of men, fear of God. A man can have many women as he wants. If you ask a question, he will beat you up. And he'll tell you, I'm a man. After all, the constitution of Kenya say you can marry even four, as long as you are taking care of them. Yeah, the fear of God is no longer in our hearts. You find a woman will say, okay, so you are cheating on me. And she will go cheat so that they become equal. Two wrongs can never make a right. Can never make a right. 
So infidelity is there. I can I can say that. Squeeze. I remember hizo siku za kinashoshona guka. Mwanaume hata angepatikana na mtu na mwanamke hata you know like anamsamee tunasonga tukisonga mbele si semi ni vizuri na si i'm not justifying that but what i'm saying i think them days people are not like kulipiza kisasi kama today today a woman will say okay ni wewe unakunywa hivyo mpaka unalala na watu huko sijui nini nini kesho mwanamke anakuja tu amlevi afilishe mwanaume venye alifeel jana we are in competition in the in the marriages competition who who will do this who nani ataumiza huyu nani that is the hot of the day oh guys yani ukiangalia siku hizo una admire hizo ma marriages za siku hizo bwo kuna vile kulikuwa na kunyanyaso hapa na pale lakini si kila mtu but i think nowadays uh, it is too much it is too 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 much too much I can say another thing people have become busy yeah people have become busy chasing money oh my god chasing money you will find a woman getting married and then she will be like you know I'm not giving birth until the next five years because of my career I'll be graduating in two years time and again I'll be doing this in two years time so you give me five years for me to have a baby mm-hmm A man will tell a wife, you know, I don't want us to have a baby. I don't want to do because I am having this career and I'll be ready by this time. Watu wamekimbizana na career, watu wamekimbizana na pesa ni sawa. We need career, we need business, we need money, we need all this. But do not forget. Hizo zote kuna wakati zitakuwa hazina maana tena. Na familia ndio itakuwa na maana. Uliza wenye wa retire familia ndio itakuwa na maana. Wewe umekimbizana 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 huko na career there was a movie I think I was watching either Nigerian or I don't remember but a movie I watched and I find a woman that uh, uh, she was chasing her career and she became a governor of that state I think it's Nigerian and she neglected the husband. She was traveling all over on the plane all over everywhere everywhere making money making name and the husband was neglected and the husband was depressed one day he decided to drink alcohol he drank alcohol and he looked at the maid passing by and he thought the maid is the wife he grabbed the maid and because for many days he has not gotten his conjugal rights he grabbed the maid and also the maid alikuwa na hitaji and they slept and she was pregnant then the wife is like hey, you can't cheat on me <laughs> with a maid <laughs> that is the person he can see everywhere akigeuka hivi ni yeye jikoni ni yeye kila mali ni yeye anaona and men have virtue inaitangwa virtue they are virtue so mwanamke akakuwa furious mpaka akaenda akafile divorce la 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 mwanaume akachukua maid wake akaosha akaosheka akamweka kwa nyumba wakaanza life and the family was beautiful people are running every day the the greed the greed that we have to make money the greed that we have to make names the greed that we have to make careers is too high si semi watu wasifanye actually i me am an advocate work especially women work 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 but if that work is denying your family look for another one if that there is a lady that came and told she was she needed counseling and told me prophetess monica i work a career woman i work here and you know me and uh, my husband is complaining because we don't see each other i don't see the kids na patanga wamelala asubuhi natoka mbele yao mume wangu ananionanga usiku wakati mwingine nimechoka i cannot even satisfy him and now he's getting angry and every day angry and now she was looking for help and i ask her what does that make you feel that everyone is complaining they cannot see you as a mother and as a wife and she was like it make me feel bad what do you do about it i will get rid of it i told her you have the answer and she quit the job and she began a business the husband gave her the money she began a business a business is her own she can live anytime she wants 
She can close anytime she wants and open anytime she wants. And that marriage never broke because a woman realized the way I'm going, this marriage will, will not work. So, what we wakikimizana na pesa, kutafuta do, kutafuta do, in our modern, in our modern marriage. You find a woman can get in the house past 11 p.m. Hajao mm. nata watoto. Nani kila siku, kila siku, kila siku. Na mze, ako Dubai, ako wapi, ako China, ako wapi, anaonekana mara moja kwa mwezi, na nile ya kuonekana tuwa ande hivi, ata watoto wa jamshiba macho vizuri. Litu, kidogo kidogo hivi. Unasikia sijui huyu wako huko, amepatana sijui na nini, divorce ndio hiyo. And because they have money, mwanamuke ata ajali, mwanamuke ajali, wanachana hivi yo. Kwa sababu, no connection, no intimate, no intimacy, no connection. No, hakuna hiyo kuingiana, watu wanakata kuingiana. Friction inakuwa too much kwa sababu hampatani. Hamuna time yenu, hamuna time ya familia. So, whew. I think for today, that is enough. And we continue. Let me, let me hear your opinion as well. Kama kuna kitu unafikiria inangusha modern marriages na sija itaja, itaja hapo kwa comment. Iseme hapo. Tutakuja na another video, tutaendeleza hapo. But for today, wacha hiyo itoshe. And I hope those that are watching me and they're in marriage, you will make that marriage work. And those that are getting into marriage, get into marriage knowing, understanding the things that I'm talking about. I want you to know that marriage is an union of two and is the oldest union and it's God-made union and it's only for two. And nowadays, let me say this before I close. Also, the third wheel in the marriage of modern marriages is too much. Kitambo watu walikuwa nakosana, wanasosana, wanaongea, wanasolu. Sahi. Tumekosana, mom, imagine my husband slapped me. Imagine, do you umenda kwa marafiki zako? Do you umenda kwa marafiki zako? Let me tell you. Uyo mtu watatu unaleta kwa marriage yako. I wish people can communicate. Communicate with your husband. Communicate with your wife. Communication is the backbone of marriage. Sasa unaleta watu wenu, unaonyesha venye buwanako ni mbaya, ama venye bibi yako ni mbaya. My friend, how watu siyo wako in love na yeye, ni wewe. So wanamchukia. Ata mukisa meena murudiane. They will never forgive or forget about that. They will be angry. Hata wa irrespectiwa. Mana uli mtuwa nishanguwa. Even our friends that we tell issues. In my first marriage, the previous marriage, oh God, sijo kuna watu wengine wanangoja mkudako. I remember, ile tu mzozano mzozano, nikaenda tu kwa watu wa irrespect so much. Nika wambia, Nika wambia, and we tried, and we tried, and we tried. We talked, we had dialogues, all those things. Later, I happened to hear those things that we were talking about with other people. And those other people, actually, they were talking to my fiancé about me, warning him about me. You know we were told by so and so that Monica is like this and this and this. The people that I told I was running to every time we have issues are the people that emptied me and removed my clothes. And now they were telling that story to people. And among those people, they came to my man to tell my man, you don't know who is Monica. Monica, I tell you, Monica, I tell you, Monica. I tell you. And then she, he's like, okay, where are you? Where is this coming from? We were told by so and so. And the person that told them, it's a person that, you know, it's a person that I respect. Huh? A person that, Mukiski aliongea mutajua ni ukweli. Najua kuna ule mtu wakiongea mutajua hiyo huyo hezidanganya. What do I want to say? Wale watu wambotu na kimbiliaga. Let us be careful. Patile ya kukimbilia hawa watu. Si tukimbilie mungu na tukue na communication in marriage. To communicate. Na ikizidi sana si tutafute professional help. Kwa neutral person. A person that have gone to school to learn how to help people solve issues. Counselors are there. Therapists are there. Mana hawa watu nimekuambia marafiki wetu. Wanakuwanga wakingojea muachana. Na sayo yaya meolewa. Ama ameowa. Kwa hivyo, ata afanyi hivyo, ndiyo wacho ya kuchukue. 
Nafanya tu hivyo ndio ndoa iangoke. So marriage is for two, not for three. This marriage is not for you and your wife and your mother. It is not for you and your wife and your sisters and brothers. It is not for you and your husband and your friends. It is for two. Sikiza neno. Solvini vitu zenu huko ndani. Mimi nilijituna hivi. Guy, kupeana stories zangu za ndoa yangu. Labda nipeane kwa Mungu because I saw what friends can do. Friends can participate a big 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 way. Nyinyi kuachana. Anyway, wacha tuseme hivi. Marriage ya kurespectiwa. I value marriage. I love marriage and those that are looking forward to come to marriage it's sweet very and marriage works marriage is not a scam when you get the right person when you get the right person munaingiana compatibility when you get the person that is going vision yake ni yako munatembea pamoja when you get the right woman the right man marriage is sweet it is workable it is doable women let us be women men let us be men be intentional marriage is being intentional you make a deliberate choice to be in it na kama kama kuna tu vitu hapa na pale muongee msolvi kama kuna violence inaweza kuleta kifo and all that na kuchapwa ama mental ama emotional torture and all that hizo vitu zingine tunaweza solve na marriage iwak So guys, uh, I thank you for watching. I know you are waiting for me to say whether I did a wedding, whether I got married, whether I got what, whether I got What do you think? Unapenda utako? Unapenda utako? Nyu mnafikiria aje by the way. Eh mnafikiria aje niambieni. Mkiniangalia hivi mnafikiria aje. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Subscribe if you have not subscribed if you are new here. Ninawapenda. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for following me. Mungu wabariki. Tusonge mbele tukisongaga vitu za kwangu mtajua tu as we continue. And uh, muache kutupiga sana. You know hata sisi ni watu. Tunataka furaha. Tunataka kusikia vizuri. So acha nene na sisi tutujibambe, tujienjoy also. We are human. And I'm only 40. And I have 60 years to go. Or 70, please. Miaka ile mingi ndio inakuja. Nimeishi kidogo. Hiyo miaka mingi nataka nikae na furaha. So muniombeage na munipende tu hivi hivi. So Mungu awabariki. Ninawapenda. I'll see you again on another video. Ninawapenda. And share this video. Please share it. If you know there are people that are having issues in their marriage, share it may help. They, it may open their eyes and if you're there you are having problems with your marriage relationship or any kind of problem i am a counselor by profession certified by the government of kenya with a certificate i'm telling you i will help you utalipa tu kafika dogo ndio school fees irudi na mimi nitakusaidia kama counselor nitakusaidia kabisa kabisa Mungu ataniwezesha masomo ambayo nimesoma itaniwezesha na najua nitakusaidia. So, if you need a counselor or a therapist, I am here. Call me. WhatsApp me. I will give you the services. God bless you.